Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. And to me. Tomorrow's the new moon. A partial eclipse. Solar eclipse. Or lunar eclipse. Man, I can't get this stuff straight. There's so much going on. Um, but it's in Sagittarius. Um, that's worth looking up, uh, the energies of that moon. So today I have my Moonology deck to see where we go. All right. Full moon Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. So don't get caught up on details at this moment. New moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. So this card is about um, expressing generosity. Um, what else? It's, you know, like put in, time to put in the effort. Put in the effort. Look at the bigger picture. The message here of like, don't be petty. <laughs> Look at the bigger picture and be generous. Um, there's energy here of reconciliation or forgiveness for sure. I really feel that. And the new moon in Sagittarius. Didn't I tell you big Sag energy was here? We got the full moon and the new moon in Sagittarius showing up. Luck is on your side. Hmm. I don't know how I managed to mess that up, but I accidentally stopped my recording. So with all this Sag energy, there is... Sagittarius is known for being like the philo philosophers. Um, they're also pretty optimistic, optimistic and ambitious. It's about our morals, our values. So with luck on your side, this is asking you to take the more optimistic route, looking at the bigger picture and being generous. Hmm. My favorite deck to pair with the Moonology deck is the Northern Animal Tarot. It's all these wild energies. Let's see what there is to add to this message. Hmm. You know, generosity here could be seen as don't get caught up on the little stuff and like embrace this generosity even within yourself as in allow yourself to feel lucky, feel ambitious, if there's been a, you know, anytime the light flickers, I'm just going to take that as a yes. <laughs> give your chance, give yourself a chance to feel ambitious again and feel um, that things are going to work out for you, because I do think that they will, if you take this approach. Where have you been lacking enthusiasm, or where have you been sort of down on yourself and in maybe an effort to protect yourself, have found yourself closed off from the world or closed off from your friends and uh, closed off from really expressing how you truly feel. I recommend going on TikTok and watching all the, or Instagram reels and watching all those motivational like images of people hiking with like these inspirational messages underneath. That's what really gets me. That's what gets me to plan my next trip, my next adventure. Goodness gracious. All right, let's go. Cards are not with me today. This 
someone's ready to let some shit go, I feel. Someone's been ready to release themselves from negativity. But it's a lot easier said than done, isn't it? Let's see what advice we have. Two of Wands, the Sun, the Devil. Yep, planning is required to find joy and happiness and a sense of liberation from what's been holding you back. Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, the Star. Um, feel like that there is a lot there there might be something in your past that makes you that gives you a taste of this wistful adventurous um open but somehow you're not it's not showing up as it's here right now it's something that you want and it's something it's something that you want for the future and something that was there in the past, but it's not here. So you're left with this wish. All you can do right now is make wishes. Or all that you are doing right now is maybe making wishes. How do I get back to that place of, of happiness, of joy, of understanding, feeling right in my own skin and feeling like I'm doing things? And, it, you know, doing things from a place of love and able to express myself authentically in a way that feels good to me and others. Let's see the future. The full quarter moon. Five of Wands. So in the future, then, I see a, a new beginning. The full is the soul of the tarot. It reminds us that in order to have new starts, we need to sometimes uh, release the existing constructs of our life to be to feel more free this is totally like Sagittarian I think I love this version of the fool because he's like hiking on a mountain <laughs> he's just about ready to fall off the cliff but look he's happy and the Sun is here oh and there's a ladybug I just noticed that there's a ladybug on here I think they represent good fortune luck is on your side that's what it's saying that's what it's saying. Come on, Lens, get with it. Get with it. Um, in a previous reading, I did mention that this is a traditional Rider weight deck, but then we do have these sort of special cards. We have the Phase of the Moon cards, uh, Shadow cards, and some other nice ones. So these are two special cards that came out today, the, the Shooting Star and the Quarter Moon. The Quarter Moon is all about finding gratitude. You know... You, the way to get out of this, well, I say depressed state, is to have gratitude for your journey so far. Lessons, lots of lots of lessons. Have, have gratitude for the lessons in your life. Underneath we have the Knight of Wands. Yeah. You're wanting to move forward in a more inspired way. But right now what it's showing up as is the Knight of Cups. Knight of Wands underneath, Knight of Cups showing up here in the present energy. The Knight of Cups is very slow moving. Maybe you're feeling like you're not moving fast enough right now. But what's actually more important is that you're moving from a place that feels authentic to you and it feels good to you. I feel a sense that there's like some kind of bridge being built between the past and the future. And thinking right now in the present, well, why isn't this? If this is a bridge, then why does why don't these feelings exist also in the present moment? Let's see if some clarifications would help. Clarify the Knight of Cups, please. Oh man. Oh. The tower came out. It was the only card that fell upright, so that's, I mean, um, shown to me, so I'll take it. The tower. 
yeah, the reason why it's, you can't bridge the happiness in the present moment is something might have happened that shook you to your core. That's why this new path is being shown here. There needs to be a new way forward that, that does express more gratitude, that takes the positives from situations, from previous, let's see here. The devil and the fool. The devil is about the things that bind us. It's like so comfortable with our own discomfort that we're ignoring. Ignoring that we are still seeking our happiness. Instead of seeking our own happiness, we're content with pretending that we are. Aye, aye, aye. That's why the Knight of Cups is here. There is some sort of like slow transition into something more positive. That's why wish is here. You can start by, by making a wish for what you would really hope to see happen instead of dwelling on negative aspects of life lessons. The Six of Cups is such a beautiful card. Every time I see it, it like doesn't come up often, but in every, in every time that I see it, I, f I get the sense that it is so unique and so, so special somehow. The Six of Cups is the energy of, you know, nostalgia, something from the past. Um, this is about caring and nurturing. Sort of like memories. Something about happy memories, making a wish for some happy memories to come in. Hmm. All right, let's let's clarify the six of cups. Oh my goodness. Mm hmm. Holding on to. Holding on to something from the past. That maybe is what's causing this tower. Like you think you're moving forward in some new authentic way and being real with yourself, but you're, you're actually stuck on the past. Or it's that you haven't given up on the past. Um, if you listen to last night's reading, the Illuminated Love Oracle pentagram spread of like what energies are currently available to us this definitely resonates a lot as well um, if you remember your past self being really happy in a situation this might be you looking at your past self um, seeing you know how things were simpler seeing how it was easier to find joy before things got complicated and we started suppressing our feelings with you know just having to deal with life and and lessons i'd like to know about the fool now what is this fresh start what is this change in direction the hermit yep being guided by some by your own light you're seeking wisdom okay Look how similar these two look. One is by sun, one is by night. That tells me that this is not an external journey. This is an internal journey. This is about you finding what finding out what matters to you and taking action more inspired by the things that matter most. Not hiding your own true feelings from yourself. That's why this is a, in the future, this is a movement towards gratitude. Let's clarify the quarter moon. Fall. Fall. 
Okay. It's like I said earlier, this is a pretty clear reading today. It's having gratitude for the lessons. This is an assessment. This is an assessment of everything you've accomplished so far. This is about not getting down on yourself for not being where you want to be right now. This is about finding gratitude for for what you have accomplished and making wishes for the future for the next things you want to do in life. Absolutely. Finally, let's clarify the five of wands. I see the five of wands as like a white noise energy, usually, because it's not a, we got some foxes here fighting, but they're not really fighting. This could just mean that in your, in your life, you might sense a lot of opposing ideas. It doesn't have to come from outside people. It could be just like all in your head. You might be battling with yourself, being a little hard on yourself. Let's get some advice for the Five of Wands. Oi, oi, oi. There it is. The Six of Pentacles. It's asking you to be more fair. Don't be so hard on yourself right now. Let's see how this balances out. The Five of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. It is impulsive of us to go very quickly to this place of like the thought, I'm not good enough or I'm not doing well enough right now. This isn't happening quickly enough for me. That is an impulsive trait. I mean, it should be a sign that you're not really thinking something through very clearly you're not really you're not being fair yep <laughs> there is a need for greater balance and I think you'll find that through expressing gratitude I think maybe some uh, daily affirmations would be very helpful um, some grounding exercises all right what are we wishing for here oh justice what else? Maybe I'll just leave it at that. So if this is resonating for you, what's, what's really wanting to come through is either reconciliation or, or bringing things into balance, into fairness. I do see this as like in the present and it <laughs> your desire to reach for the past, like to reach for this like other happy place is a form of like looking externally for happiness, for finding that. And that that's masking what's really going on here, which is ha coming in the future anyway, which is you are not giving yourself enough credit for your own ability to do that for yourself. Or it's that this reconciliation is a part of your moving forward. Making things right means that you can start this new journey. Justice and the full making things right means you can you are now able to move forward with more gratitude having righted some wrong here um all right how do we transition from illusions of happiness and moving towards actual happiness let's get some cards for that I feel like this is, it's the transmutation, like how do we transmute this, this water into fire sort of energy? 
I'm not saying that that's what's necessary because sometimes we do have to move a little bit slower and when we're being honest with ourselves, we have to be a little bit more gentle, more careful. And things aren't just going to happen in like this fiery, inspirational way, like, aha, and finally I'm there. Just with the flick of a wand. It's not magic. Well, let's see what the universe has to say about this transition. Full moon, let it, let something go. Or the next full moon, December 19th. Action to ease transition. If December 19th is an important day for you, The support, the chariot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I love how it's snowing in this card. You got the chariot. The chariot is about either some kind of graduation, like finally moving on, the energy of like going for what you want. This is also cancer energy, um, which is, again, water. I think if you persist... If you persist with this slower water energy, because it feels good to you, you will see yourself in situations more clearly versus going the way of the fire. So the support is that if you are consistent with this water energy, you will achieve your goals. Like it is moving you forward. That's what it's saying. It's supporting that. What you will gain, the four of swords. Rest, meditation, rejuvenation possibly. You'll feel new. Just feel new. Something to, you need to let go of, the Ten of Wands. <laughs> the Ten of Wands is um, normally, so it depicts a person carrying all these wands um, up a hill or, you know, just taking on a lot of burden and normally the message of this card is to release some of the burdens um, delegate better don't feel like you're responsible for everything like that it all has to come down to you but what I love about this deck it's so like <laughs> wildly passionate and sort of positive this in this deck <laughs> the description is something like look at you go Look at all the things that you've been able to accomplish and only you would be able to do these things for yourself. Look at you go. That's what I mean. You're not giving yourself enough credit. You've got to be fair to yourself about how hard um, your situation may have been. It's also not your fault. Like, it's not your fault to have to do things to protect yourself. It's not your fault to, um, to do things to make you feel safe. You know, the, the things that we do in, in survival mode are different than who we really are when we feel safe and open. I really do think that this, this new moon in Sagittarius tomorrow, but you know, it's also happening today is going to be really helpful for that. So you can meditate on that or journal about that. Like what makes me feel safe? What, what's the version of myself that is more open and free? How, how do I envision my life? You know, how do, in what situations would I feel happier? What does your life look like? What do you feel like when you're in your happy place? All right, last card here. The star. Again, the star, the star. <laughs> we got the shooting star and the star. Because I saw it in the cards, I will say, you know, there. if you are in a situation where you're trying to reconcile with somebody or, or make a relationship right, especially if it's somebody from your past that you feel like didn't 
turn out? Like, why aren't they here? Like, why aren't, why aren't we planning our happiness together and in the future? It's because that there's healing here. You, you want to, he you say you want to heal, like in your mind you might be saying, I want to be better for this person so that I can heal this relationship, but you're not giving yourself enough credit, as in you alone deserve to take action for yourself towards your own healing, for your own life journey, and for your own wisdom. These are your life lessons, ultimately. That's what I got. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did. Thanks.